all you can do is below singing, this singing and hearing and speaking expectation, you are diseased. So there is a disease of a man that human beings are not aware of. Is that clear? Jesus say, who will heal them? Every one of you. All of you should say it, sir. All of you should say it. Is it that word high is Christ? So the healing for the soul is Christ. And this healing is not what you, you can't lay hands for eyes to see, ear to hear, deaf to speak. You can only, if the key, the key is understand. So the purpose of all those three faculties being hijack yes, is to ampad understanding. So it's comprehension. So seeing is is all of them is to make you discern. They all work together. Without hearing, you can't see. Without seeing, you can't understand. So the answer is heal them. Heal them. Let's see. Give me Mark. Mark account. Luke does not have this. Give me Mark. Now, don't forget this one. Converted. Write it somewhere. Converted. Then the other one healed them. Sorry. I hope I'm talking to you. Thank you for staying. Praise the Lord. Can I continue? Is there any understanding in the house? Unto you is given the mystery, to know the mystery of the kingdom. You are faster than me. God bless you. I own him. Uh, let me follow you gradually. Go back to 11. For unto you is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But unto them, the, you see, uh, I want to say something. M- mystery, it's secret. A sign of healing is that you are comprehending mystery. Did you agree with me here? A sign that you are healed is that you are are comprehending mystery. Now, it is given to be able to understand. Mystery may sound so simple. Is it these words? If you're unable to comprehend them, you can live out of another time that can be a blessing to us. Living out of the time of life. Just by comprehending, you can pass into another phase of life. Just comprehension. Boom! And people will not know something is happening to you. Yes, sir. But unto them that are without, without the mysteries, all these things are done where? Let's see the next verse. That seeing they may see. Let's see how Luke puts it. And perceive not. Hearing they may hear. And not, you see, understand. Perceive. Lest at any time they should be converted. You know that one say converted and I will heal them. This one say converted and their sins should I be. Now can we wait? Are you ready? What did you understand to get born again? How many people comprehended the kingdom to get born again? What was the mystery you understood then your spirit was saved? So there was no on there was no exercise of comprehension. Not so, nothing at all. You only believe. Conviction came on you, you cry, and some in the process of crying, Holy Spirit birth their spirit alive. But this one is different. So it means there is a process called digestion of mystery. 
that leads to forgiveness. So it's clear many sins are still remaining in people, not with God. Hmm? A whole lot of people are carriers of sins, but in the, in the heavens, it's being purged. So you are carrying something that is obsolete, something they've dealt with. Now, some people, they now understood that so there is a message going on now that we, God has forgiven us. God has pardoned us. God has purged us. Then they now resulted to say, there it, so I don't have it anymore. No. It won't go except mysteries. Why? Because sins is mysterious. Iniquity is sin, mystery. It means we don't know it. When something is a mystery, it means it's a secret. So, so sin perpetuates in a secret manner. When something is secret, it's something higher than you, even though it may be before you. You don't have a comprehension of its working. You don't have its growth. It's greater than you. So Jesus is saying, for you to come of it, I will cause you to comprehend the kingdom, not comprehend the sin. When you comprehend the kingdom, then you will see the sin. Oh! Ah. Then, look at me. Even if you comprehend, you understand, because listen to me, what am I understanding? Until you begin to know. The mystery of the kingdom of God. So it's clear, comprehending the kingdom, when you have comprehended the kingdom, it is purging of iniquity. <laughs> that is the bang I want. Did you hear me? When you have comprehended the kingdom, your sins in you has been handled. You can't handle it yourself. Listen to me. It means I will not be I will not be exposed to the healing of Jesus. So, in other words, they use the word healing. In other words, they use the word forgiving. So, that tells you, sin has to dual placement. <laughs> it's a disease and it's, what, sir? it's, it's an offense. Or in other words, why I am committing the offense is because I am diseased. Is that understood? So let's go to Psalm 103. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. What is that soul? This is a soul that I have used. What's that? The mysteries of the kingdom. Not so, sir. Not just him. All. Oh. <laughs> that is what, sir. Bless what, sir. Oh, praise him forevermore. Now, the Lord here is Christ. This Lord is our Lord. He is raised to be Lord. And Christ, if you are not hearing him, oh, you see, if Jesus is not the Lord, we won't teach him. Hmm. That's why you don't preach anyone who is not the Lord. Can I say something to you? Look at me. Everyone say amen. amen. Even though Jesus will make us Lord, he will never teach us. You are also Lord of all. You are going to come into that status. But look at me, they can never teach you. They can't preach Tokwe. Because Tokwe is never the message. Yes, sir. N neither Reverend K. Why? Because Reverend K does not, can't carve out a niche for himself in the spirit. The place Reverend K found is the one Christ provided. Amen. So Jesus is the blessing to all. So when they look at us, it's the Christ. Christ, 
Christ. So there is no Christ. Ayo, Tunji, Dr. Lamikora, Pastor Ken. They are not different. All of them are Christ. He's one person. They may be billions, but he's one man. Everybody shout hallelujah. Then if he's one man, who is that man? You see him still standing alone. Yet many. So we are all submitted to him. So there is nothing, there is no special patent. There is no another theory of another man. It's one man through all and in you all. Can we say bless his holy name? So the beginning of it, of his name is righteous. Jesus' name ends with holiness. That's the name of the Lord. The high name of the Lord is a holy name. You see, because the name of his father is most holy. Psalm 103. Let's see the next verse. So there is forgiveness of sins. Not so? Shall we say forgiveness of sins? Um, I want this area a whole lot of people stumble there. No matter how you teach it, they forget it. Because there's a way that those words were placed. So it slips off hands. That's why I'm fighting. I'm fighting spirit because it's not easy to lay that word. I, 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 I could understand many, many, even though you, have, you can teach it ten times, it won't stay. But I'm looking for another road to graft it in. Everybody say, hey, man. Now open to some, open to Acts chapter 26. This was Paul talking to Jesus. Jesus talking to Paul concerning his commission. Uh, verse 17. Jesus told Saul, Paul. Uh, did, verse 17. Okay, this, this is awesome. 16. But rise, stand upon thy feet. I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness. Both. All of you shout both. both. Are you at me? Yes, Are you looking at me? Yes, Can you shout it? Both. All of you must say it, I beg you. Both. Can we say it, all of you there? Both. What is the meaning of both? The word both means what? Huh? Two. It means you are a minister and a witness of two things. Both of the things that thou art seen and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Now, he has seen something. But the things that he will appear, are you listening to him? Again, to him for those things, he hasn't, he has seen one. He doesn't need an explanation for it. But the next one, he needs an, an explanation. Wow. Then after the semicolon, explanation began to come. What are the things? Look at it. This delivering you first, before you can be a minister of this thing, I will need to deliver you. From the people, those are the Jews. When you hear the people in those era, those who are the people are called the Jews. And from the Gentiles. You know why? Because Paul was both a Gentile and a Jew. He lived among them. So the deliverance is from your environment. From where you are cultured from. That tells you, culture is not free from the hands of evil spirit. So to breed a man, evil spirit, they are also what, sir? They are what? Involved. No child escape. When you say, Oh, my God, we thank God he has come. God has blessed us again. An evil spirit is waiting. It, it does, it's not possession. We attack possession. But I'm talking about culture, training. Those who, who carry the baby, they are also, they've been trained to train the child. Are you <laughs> So there is a continuity of captivity. Am I communicating to you? I'm from the unto whom I now send thee. Telling you, 
the Jews are not free. They think they are the holy people. They themselves are not free. The Gentiles, if the Jews are not free, what are the Gentiles? Verse 18, can we see? What is this? When I have delivered you, then you will open these two people's eyes. You will turn them, open the eyes. So, turn them from darkness to light. From the power of Satan. Oh, this, this thing is heavy. You can teach this message for days. Non-stop. This thing is loaded. This is Jesus' doctrine. Turn them from darkness to light. When you have opened their eyes, then turning begins. Turn them from darkness to light. From the power of Satan. So a believer actually doesn't use the power of God. They kitted us with some power. But the actual power comes when eyes are open. Uh, do you agree with me? We won't. <laughs> when he prayed for the eyes of the understanding to be enlightened, spirit of wisdom to be given to them, they, after he talked about hope of his calling, riches of the glory of his inheritance, the next thing is the availability of power for to use after now. After eyes are opened, they should know what is the exceeding greatness of his power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principalities and power, might and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this way and that which is to come. You see, this power of resurrection that the pastor was talking, meaning can be used. We are not using it. We use lesser powers. Now, when you come to the issue of the kingdom, that is why a miracle worker is, can be admitted into the kingdom. Somebody who is casting a demon does not have an effect in the kingdom. Somebody who even prophesies is not, is not accredited in the kingdom. Somebody who do mighty works. The kingdom does not know you. Even after you have done it by grace. It's not enough for the kingdom. Why? Because that is not the power that counts. Say, say kingdom. I'm not, I'm not here. Say it again, everybody. How many of you know one song? Kingdom come by power. How many of you know that song? Kingdom come by power, by power. Kingdom come by power, by power. Kingdom come by power, by power. Hey. Kingdom come by power, by power. I say kingdom come by little, by little. <laughs> you know the song? When you hear by power in those days. The kingdom has its own power. So the kingdom of God is not in much words. But what's that? In power, when you hear power, 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 what power? <laughs> power of God. Power that can turn me from darkness to light. From the power, the power of Satan. Um, um, uh. Say it again. The power of Satan. I'm not hearing you. The power of Satan. Now, the power of Satan, look at me. The power of Satan. Is a very silent power. Magical power is not Satan's power. That is a distraction. Real Satan's power is calmness, blindness, peace, giving you blindness and peace, and you operate for years on this top. And Jesus said, I hate that peace. I say, I bring sword. To learn that Satan can make noise. You don't understand me. You see, there will be peace when nothing is happening. Doc, 
How many of you, Pastor Ken, you remember many years ago, have you ever seen headsmen killing people? Hmm? Boko Haram, 30 years ago, and preaching was going on. Why did the order change? So later on, when gospel grew, Satan changed hands. The same people who believe in it are killers. You just need to tap them. Change operation. We can no longer be quiet. <laughs> Anybody is in Satan's hand. Yes, Even a Christian brother. Reverend Kenza, a Christian, a preacher can be used by Satan. As long as your eyes is not open. And you can do iniquity under that blindness without knowing. So if any of them will persecute you and think they are doing God a favor. If, if I, I know my God, if I don't fight for this cause, heaven will not forgive me. I know what I am fighting for. It's blindness. That's Satan's power. So you don't dysfunction Satan until you bring the kingdom. When you now bring the kingdom, <laughs> Satan is touching. He's been okay before. He will hear. Healings are taking place. Satan, oh God, Satan, people are getting healed. Oh, demons will be crying. <laughs> oh God, they could not tell. Oh God, you principalities and power, they've been driving us away. Oh. We don't have homes again. Satan says, shut up there and wait. But one day, one guy, are you getting it? The principality of Lagos will go to Satan with one hand. <laughs> what happened to you? Hmm? Okay, I can I think you need to go. <laughs> you need to go and experience it yourself, sir. What's wrong with you? Satan does that. Tell me the truth. What is happening? No, I can't explain. You need to explain it. This thing is better said, than, better explained than said. What are you trying to say? Hmm? <coughs> there are just ten of them. Heaven sent. Who did they send? They've not been sent for two thousand years. The thing just started with. What, is, what are you saying? Are you in your mind? Are you in your right senses? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not here to even, who am I? I'm just saying that they have arrived. <laughs> who have arrived? Those who bring good tidings. What do you say? I thought you boys are block holes. So you remember we saw in Jamaica coming three years ago, and we'll talk about it, that something, a transaction is taking place. This is the effect. And you didn't let me know. We don't know how to ask. We don't know how to come back to you and talk. We are sorry, sir. Okay. Keep that of Lagos. Right now, don't let it happen to Port Harcourt. No, sir. Even Port Harcourt now is almost... <laughs> Okay, this is a strategy. Go to Ghana. <laughs> it, they sent somebody to Ghana. We don't know where that was. <laughs> the Ghanaian preacher is deadly, sir. Meanwhile, this preacher has been buffeted. They don't know what spirits are saying about them. If you know how they discuss you in heaven, I want to ask you, what is the meaning of Paul I know? Is it just, is it the only one who know him? That spirit. They must have what, sir? Now, now that was not the messenger of Satan. Uh -uh, that was sent. That was a demon in Ephesus. 
that Paul what, sir? Inside of him to say, Paul, we know. He said, Paul, myself, I know Paul. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Can I be say, can I say something to you? You will never be known in the realm of the spirit when you have not escaped the blindness of Satan. This Bible is clear. Who forgiveth thy iniquities? Who healeth thy diseases? So, I want to ask you a question. Anyone who is converted, that's a person that will be healed. So, let's take these two words. Let's place them on Matthew 18. Verse 2. Jesus called a little child unto him, set him in the midst of the disciples. Verse 3. Said, Verily I say unto you, I said, Ye be converted, is bringing it again. So the preacher of conversion is Jesus. I said, Ye be converted and become as little children. You shall not enter where? So, Kunle, uh, every put, I want Kunle to answer me. I want you to deduce, put together these two little children, conversion, entrance into the kingdom. Opening of the eyes, forgiveness. Are you listening to? I will heal them. Conversion. You must deduce it together. Yes. You are laughing. <laughs> you, is that a big job, sir? <laughs> it's the mystery of the kingdom. I don't want to enter kingdom. Don't worry, Apostle Kunle will, will teach us. Oh, yeah, KK. Please, Kunle, just trust God. You can do it, sir. Don't, don't be shy, just... I do. Okay, Kone, you are go, Pastor Kone, go ahead. Okay. I would ask for the question again. <laughs> okay. Little oh. children. <laughs> Very easy question. Yes. I say you be converted and be like little children, you cannot enter into the kingdom. Jesus also mentioned conversion in the area of par- parable of the sower. Remember, it says uh, those who see are the ones that will have uh, opportunity to be converted. Are you getting me? And he heal their iniquity or he forgive their sins. So conversions and, and little children, just bring all of them together and summarize it. For the entrance of the kingdom. I'm following what you have just said. Sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. There is an entrance to the kingdom. That's right, son. And you can't even see the entrance hmm. because of your size. Hmm. This is serious. Go ahead. <laughs> because of what, sir? Size. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is serious. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. There is the realm of what is visible mm-hmm. to you okay. because of your size. That's right. And there is a realm that is not invisible, yeah. but it is invisible to you yeah. because of your size. Okay, sir. In, te- in technology, there is nanotechnology. Okay. That's when you move below milli mm-hmm. into nano. Okay. Now, now co- milli. 
it's small. Very, very small. Nano is extremely invisible. So okay. they are actually not invisible. But when you are not in that size, you don't see what is operating at that size. It's beautiful. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> KK, go ahead. <laughs> This is serious. Wow, sight. <laughs> so that's uh this a pattern, this a pattern, it's a part in those spirit. It's a part in those spirit. Yeah. <clears throat> If you see this scripture with another sight, you yeah. put little children before conversion. Mm. But because they have to convert you, hmm. that's why it has to come before little children. Yeah, beautiful. So, it's not just about opening your sight. Hmm. Well, if we open your sight and your size remain, yeah. you will not see what those who are of that size nice. see. So we need to change your size even if we open your eyes. Hmm. So can you relate it with sins? Sir? Sins and iniquity that so, are we here. Can you, can you say it in that, in that word? So, the first thing Satan did to man, I'm just seeing a balloon. Yeah. <laughs> so, he first pumped man. Mm. He pumped him. So, man is already pumped. Mm. <laughs> so, the first arm, which is good, that God does to you is to puncture you. So what happened? You. So what are those? What is those? Healing. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Kunle, thank you so much. As Pastor Kunle spoke in your language. You, talk, you, didn't, you think I was trying to try you? I want you to help me teach the message. I need, I was in need of help. God raised help. Amen. Can we thank God for him? Amen. Pastor Dr. I come to understand that this language of Jesus entering thy kingdom, there is a way it sounds in hearing. Yes. Satan has done a lot of work in the heart against those words. But they are wonderful words. Hallelujah. So it's... Yeah. Are you, what is that, sir? <laughs> Amen. You know there's a Yoruba adage, not so? You know there's a Yoruba adage that when the rat becomes bigger, you will depend upon the breast of the little ones to survive. They are big now, so I should be... I need to drink their breast because milk... <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm tapping from them too. Hallelujah. They, get, they have resources. Go ahead. Many of you have resources. Amen. And you will feed the church. Amen. Stand up. Let thank me, you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. I put up a round the view of ocean for Tongia. I flat in sin, takate sin. I'm bringing healing. I hear in the spirit you are under the cloud of healing. Hmm. You are under the cloud of healing. There is a precipitation of the wisdom 
of the Holy One into your soul yes, sir. for you to see. And you are under the cloud whereby you are having grace to be converted. See, the Spirit of God, I am doing a silent work. I am doing a silent work. I am giving eyes to those who cannot hear. I am giving ears to those who cannot hear. And eyes to those who cannot see. And tongue and setting loose the tongue that cannot talk. For healing power. Even divine healing that can pierce that can pierce beyond the body into the invisible part of man is visiting you. Blessed are you for being here. Blessed are you for being sitting. For henceforth, your walk and your sight is changed. See the Spirit of God. Thank you. Hallelujah. So, uh, age... We acquire a foul age by iniquity. If the description of persons for entrance, are you getting me? Or the type of person that will gravitate towards the kingdom or has moved towards the kingdom, there is a conversion of person from adult to, to a child to an adolescent. It means sins are hate. So iniquity is wisdom. And wisdom is measured by hate. Now, age of the soul is not physically years. A man, a young boy that is born 10 years ago can be wiser than a 50-year-old man. They depend on how much iniquity the child is able to acquire. So it can grow faster. Now, like Jesus at 12 was older in the spirit than the doctors of the law. They couldn't see scripture. Jesus was comprehending scripture at age 12. 80 year old can't. It means they've not really grown. Do you get me, sir? So it is with Satan. Satan knows how to give age to mankind. Now, all those old men have greater age somewhere but they are small in the things of God. So when they say they are taking out sins, they have the profitability tools of sins. Ability not to rely on faith. Yeah. It's what ought to be crumbled. Which can they say they must be deflated? It will go out. It's only Jesus that can do it. That you become small again. But you are not small. Though. The smaller you are, the older you become. So turning, turning. Now, the, that, is the, that is the benefit of the spirit of Elijah. It will turn the heart of the fathers Fathers to their children. Everyone who is a father, he has a child in him. Meaning, what do you do to it? Take out that age, make him a child. Those who are unwise, who are children, take them into fatherhood. That's the spirit of restoration. And that is healing. Do you agree with me? Everybody say amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I, I don't have too much to say here. Then let's go back to Psalm 103. Is that clear? Say amen. amen. Turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan unto the power of God, that they may receive. Hmm. That they may receive forgiveness of sins and then inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. This is Psalm 103. That beginning part. Let's just say. It says, let's go back to Psalm 103 quickly. Hey Amen. We are finishing. Psalm 103. Verse 4, quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who redeemeth your life from destruction? Now, life is not taken from 
You know, we are racing towards destruction. No life is taken back from destruction until the life is in the kingdom. So it's clear. Please, please. I want your alertness. I want your hearing. What does it mean to enter into the kingdom? Because what I have just taught you is the things concerning the kingdom of God. Who can help me? What does it mean for to enter into the kingdom? I will still ask one of the ministers, Tunji, can you help us? <laughs> Quickly, because we have no time. Yes, sir. Line what you said earlier about yeah, yeah. how we don't enter the kingdom until yeah. our eyes have been opened. Mm -hmm. That's it, sir. When my eyes is open, I see the kingdom, but yes, except sir. I'm born of water and of, spirit. and of the spirit, I can't see, I can enter. enter. So entrance is different from seeing. Yes, so explain it, how to enter in these things I have said. Go ahead. Okay, sir. I'm not sure what you just said now. Um, yes, we sight the kingdom after eyes have been opened. Beautiful. But we have not gained entrance until that which is keeping us out, which is our sins, mm -hmm. are being forgiven. Are being forgiven. Now, it's at the point of conversion mm -hmm. that we are granted entrance. Beautiful. So, in line with what Pastor Kunle said, yeah. the conversion is to make us small enough to enter. That's right, sir. So, it's clear... Can we have to eat again? Yes, sir. It is not all those who say unto me, Lord, Lord, that shall enter into the kingdom, but they that what? The will of what, sir? Which is where? So what is that will, every one of us? It's a tool for, it is the will you will see. You need to see the will or comprehend the will. So, Colossians chapter 1, verse 9, it's key. You need that prayer that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom. So, you need to be baptized, loaded with the wisdom of the will. You need to know the will. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. That Well, and also, give us this day. That bread is the will. When you eat it, then forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who trespass against us. I think I'm okay. Can we rest that case there? Let's go further Psalm 103. I'm finishing. Let me not open this Bible because this thing is too, is too much a blessing from our Father. Glory to God. So my life is taken away from destruction because entering the kingdom is stopping corruption. Entering the kingdom is stopping corruption. What corruption is it? So, so Satan is set something in motion, not so, destructible weapon on the soul. The soul we obey the second law of motion that Isaac Newton propounded, remember? Is that everybody continuing in a state of rest in a uniform motion in a straight line, except acted upon by an external force. That is, you will continue, nothing will stop you. Something has to come and stop you. The way Satan did it, he did it so perfectly that leaving you over time, boom, you'll be destroyed. But thank God for an external force to stop you and bring you to rest. You now have rest. Find rest to your soul. 
But Satan has set up on a wrong energy for to detonate after a while. It's a, it's a spiritual time bomb. Satan is an evil, he's a cherub, terrible with, he's, an, he's a bomb expert. It, and you have to be careful to detonate the bomb. You need wisdom. It's going doom, 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 doom. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it. You can't even help yourself. When you want to help yourself, you're actually racing faster. So deliverance is the kingdom coming. <laughs> Thy will be done on earth. As it is what? So when God give us, is it that what give us this day? Say it again, everyone of you. Many of, you, many of us were bastard at that prayer. Immediately it's at the table we pray. You are picturing bread, not so sir. Yes. Our daily bread. Uh, you know, I like, I, how many of you like white bread? It's totally white. I don't know. Why, why are you eating white bread? For what? I like it to be brown. Somebody said that's correct. I like bread that is suffer out of fire. The fire has colored. How many of you love the wheel of God? The word of God that has been tied in fire. Keep eating the word. Keep eating the word. Keep eating the wheel. When you eat the wheel, your head is being reduced. Because the wheel of God restores you back to the redemptive sense. Are you getting me? Of God. Inside each wheel is program redemption. Hmm. Who crowned thee? Hmm. This is a dimension. With loving kindness and tender mercy. Then the next verse. Hallelujah. And satisfy your mouth. This is where we are. This is a different dimension. Now, when the crown of mercy is, up, is upon you, the spirit of glory is resting upon you. Am I communicating to you? Then you will assess something which is called good of good, which Jesus is an high priest of. Good things is satisfied thy mouth with good things, something Happens to your youth. Hey. So that thy youth. All of you are not shouting. All of you say my youth. My youth. Is what my dear? Renew. If you know what I am saying. Halabata. Now you don't have youth. You are old. Christ makes you young. Christ makes you young. <laughs> Am I communicating to you? You get gain back your youth when you are converted. But you now need, there is something Christ eat. You eat things to be Christ. Then you now need to eat Eat what Christ can eat. This is what this man said. He gives you what, sir? He's satisfied. Say it again, sir. Satisfied. Your what, sir? Like what? And what happened to you? Now, anyone who has read the status quo of Eagle Renewer isn't an ordinary man. Now, I... Uh, Cherubims are young. Hmm. That's why you can. Che, che, cherubims are young. Say it. Open to Psalm 119 or Psalm 90. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want to just show you something. 
Next writing division, I think I will continue this. Amen. Good things to come. Hi! <laughs> Shout hallelujah. <laughs> These kids are deadly. Let me leave them here. Amen. Okay, Psalm 91. Let us not make let us. Can you give me verse 7? Let's see verse 7. Hallelujah. Thou sh- 13. How, who is that? God bless you. God bless you. You are following me. Hallelujah. Thou shalt tread upon the lion before a man can tread upon lion. Lion in the spirit are not ordinary beings. When you say lion, lion, it, you don't get lion. It, it lies on. These are high spirits. Paul, in his epistle days, said, God would deliver me from the mouth of the lion and from the power of dogs. Dogs are spirits that fight Christ. Lions are spirits that fight God. You know, you think it's the manner of men I fought after the beast of Ephesus. May you not meet lion. Prayer is that he will deliver you from evil. Some beasts, they don't go. You know, when you are fighting lion, kill it well, it will rise again. Lion spirit, tenacious. Lion is a sign of a flying dragon. Let's see it. And harder. The young lion and the dragon. Is it a young lion? Yes, sir. Young lion is higher than lion. Yes, sir. The first, there is something about lion. Yes, that tells you there are two stages of oath. There are two immutable things mm. are dual in nature. Mm. Is it these two things? Is Satan. This is the nature of Satan. Lucifer, son of the morning. A fallen cherub fall into the state. When he fell, he became an evil lion and became an adder. Adder is that, that creature, that what, sir? That creep on the floor. A lion is he that crawls on earth. That's the first state. This state, God of peace can deal with it. Hmm. The God of peace will suddenly bruise Satan under your feet. So God of peace is at the veil in the holy place. But you need more than God of peace to handle the young lion. Satan is also a young lion. And who? And dragon. <laughs> it's true. This is it's just telling you about the lion. When you are fighting Satan as a dragon in the height, you also come back to him as a young one. Yes, when you are fighting him as a harder and bruising himself, you're also dealing with him as a lion. But before you can do this, you must be a dweller in the secret place of a most high. Dragon. Twice we saw the manifestation of the man child. One for four thousand. Chapter Revelation of chapter seven. They were sealing them with the name of the Father in their forehead. Chapter twelve, they were being born and they overcame the dragon. Yes, <laughs> they are two different states. I mean, they've been dealing with the dragon since. It ended and culminated into ultimate victory at chapter 12 when God gave birth to them and they were able to sit on the throne. Like I said to you, like I say, now there are two dimensions of hope. A lion nature is a hope nature. Say it again. <sighs> Why? Lion does not turn from any. 
Anybody who has a lion nature can't turn. So, so you see this Satan, he can't change. It's hot that is worrying him. He has, there is no strife between him and iniquity. When I mean strife, he's no longer resisting iniquity. There is a free flow. It's beyond friendly. It has become our nature. It's a flow out of him. Then his first state of hope is called good hope. When you read the opposite, you understand the positive. Then the second state, are you getting me? Is the perfect hope. So, when dealing with the issue of eternal life, you see promise which God cannot lie. Why did they have to say, God, you have promised, but why are you saying I will not lie? There is something about hope and the life of God. The life eternal is an hot nature. That's what Rekha was teaching us. It's an hot nature. No one gets into eternal life and turn. When, you are, when eternal life comes into you, that is the end. You can't change. You can't backslide. You can't turn. You can't lie. You can't depart. You can't sin. You, can't, you cannot do it. Because, listen to me, because it, it will make you resolve so strongly than this lion. They have something similar. They have a prototype. They have an image. They have a shadow of what God has. They don't turn. Doc, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Topper was talking about long life. You know, he said, will you satisfy me? Now, long life is not how many years you live. I will tell you, say long life. long life. I want you to shout it, sir. Long life. All of you say it again. Long life. Now, you can dictate life. How long a life is during war. Are you getting me? They kill it, they will rise again. 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 Now, if Satan aspire killing you and he's got no life to kill you, you will depart. He discover he can't break you. It means you will last long than him. So for God to make sure we have inherited eternal life, he will, allow, he will allow us to be engaged with the dragon, to pull out life from within us, to last long. You cannot fight is not the immediate, it's how long it lasts. So there are certain lives you can't kill. You can't kill eternal life because it's too long. It's endless. For how long Satan has been fighting God? He has fought with God until he's old. And God is still fresh. Maybe you don't know God is, as he's fighting God, God will morph. Okay, I want to come to the world. When Satan was ending, that was when God was born. And decided to be a man. Crucify him on the cross. Died again. Are you listening to me? And he was silent. Then the rest, ah! That, that is embarrassing. Satan became tired. <laughs> when you are fighting such a being, what happens to you? Imagine fighting an area boy. Everybody say amen. All of you beat him. You beat him 10 of you the next days in your house again. And all of them beat you. You beat him again the third days in your house. You trust him. Bah! The fourth day, he's coming back. The fifth day, what happens, sir? You beat him and you tore his face and broke his forehead. Then he will put bandage. Honestly, or, or I won't leave anybody here today. Something is in him. 
What happens to all of you, sir? <laughs> After six days, what happens, sir? <laughs> all of you shout hallelujah. <laughs> Any wise boy among the strong boys will tell him, you know, strong boys, who doesn't last? Share when you see this thing, you are becoming to this thing. I want to just let you know you're like a brother to me. <laughs> I have your type at home. What is, the, what is the thing wrong with you? Is it food you don't have? Inside of my heart, listen, listen. Oh, he will tell the rest of the friend. Don't, don't let us beat him. What I feel there is something wrong with Shagun. Shagun. Shagun, 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 Shagun. Can you tell me what is happening, sir? It's about to make peace. Because this is a devil is fighting. Satan fought with God and he's tired. Maybe you don't know God likes war. I mean, even our God loves war. This is our father likes war. Shout hallelujah. When the man child overcame Satan, after they have overcome Satan, and Satan was thrown down, God still raised some army. The remnant of the seed. So that Satan can war with them. <laughs> I say you should be ready for war. Say be ready for war. Now you good thing. Good things makes your life to be renewed like the eagles. Eagles are birds in God's class. Eagles are birds in God's class. Remember it was an eagle that took the mother of the man child into the wilderness. The great wings of eagle. Those are God's wings. Eagle are birds. Where, sir? In God. They're under the bread. Sir, eagle is the lion of the field. It's like the lion of the, it's the, lion of the height. I mean, if you know that Eagle behaves exactly like lion. Eagle doesn't scavenge. Eagle doesn't leave, eat leftover. He likes to kill. Fresh. The way lion kills. When lion kills, brings the prey not dead so that the kids can be present and initiate them to fresh kill that this is what you must be eating. Like I'm killing it. Eat it right now. When this thing is still jacking, yeah, little kid, bite it. Eat the prey while life is present. So they eat life. The same thing with eagle. Eagle will not kill the animal completely. He will make sure life is there and brings it to the nest of an eagle so that the young ones, the eaglets, can oh, bang, come on, bite, bite, so that they will be used to fresh blood. They will smell it. You will take the blood and touch the beak of the baby. Smell. Smell, smell life, smell life, smell life. I say, no, no, you can see life. So, so when you now bring one local thing that vulture eats to an eagle, you won't eat it. When somebody is used to freshness. There was a time, one pastor who lived in Aboy. Where Pastor Ebeka was staying. Anytime I said eat fish, he doesn't even look at me in Lagos. Pastor, this, mm, you, I, I wonder why. I said, This is fish now. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> at home I killed fresh fish. It's by the riverside. This is all this nonsense they are doing. I was thinking, he's from a village. I'm thinking I'm a city boy, I, I, thinking I'm shining for him. I'm giving him a quick Am I lying to him? I get the death of Lagos. Am I lying to him? Ice fish. I'm presenting ice fish to him. And he's looking at me. What am I doing? Eating this. 
Now, that was a fisherman from childhood. Huh? <laughs> from childhood. <really. laughs> it went to him, it's abomination. But I thank God for this. Father, we worship your name and give you the glory. Thank you for providing this okweko for me in Jesus' name. But him... That's your own level. I think some people are... Is, is it true that some Christians are eating okweko in the spirit? It's high time to eat freshness. Listen, listen to me. The day you taste eternal life, you won't stop eating it. Pastor said it's life. God grants life. God will give you life. You know how Pastor Tucker was describing in tongue food? How many of you remember that tongue? Good food. Eat food good. Good eat food. Food. Eat good things. Have you eaten this morning? Is that tongue lie? It has, has it satisfied you today? But it's not the handle. Another one is coming. Now, listen to me. There is going to be freshness every morning. Yeah. Morning by morning, the eagle mother brings food from the young ones. The eagle sour in the height with the prey. Are you listening to me? And drop it. I miss the kids to eat. Eagle. Fresh. They must learn because eternal life is fresh. Doctor, I was studying about Hugo, and I did, I came across a story about the Hugo breast. They wanted to tell their years. It's not easy to let, to know how long an Hugo can live. I'm not sure, maybe it has been documented well, well, accurate documentation. But one man said, the best they knew was concerning an eagle that was caged. He lived over 200 years. When you say cage eagle, he will be eating millet. That's not his food. Once in a while, things. So there's something in it in eagle. Life! Force hidden that can make him elongate. What of eagle that lives in the wild? Constant blood every day. Not a caged one. <laughs> youth. It means that word renewal of youth is the preservation that is coming from eternal life. Youth is kept. Christ is God's youth. He must be kept without going old. So a ever young soul. Are you saying it, sir? When a soul in 600 years is still the same, he has not changed. It means he has a renewal of youth. This is also the secret of God. He can't get hold. When from hand to hand is changing, a hand. You know, he says, I am Alpha and Omega. It's not his extent he's talking about. He's talking about discharge of life. 
to a degree and at the same time, when you think that the life force is ending, another one comes. There is a law responsible for that that makes God fresh and new. Ever learn, ever changing, ever learn, you know, but never getting hold. I'm sure most of us, when you get to heaven, you'll be thinking God is going to be, I mean, maybe when you say, very old person. All my children. No, I'm going to. You'll be surprised, every one of you, when you will see him. Look at me. It's possible he may be younger than me. He can be like Pastor Tokwe. Some of you can't ever imagine. Father! Ah! No, Father! Ah! You know, how many of you know those Yoruba? Agbagba, think bagba, agbagba, lagba, lagba. Immediately you hear that one, it's one baba. He may be a very young being. Very young. Youth. From him cometh youthfulness. It's, maybe you don't know. The word cherub means young. To be young is to be endless. This white beard says, I'm not communicating to you. I like that state. At times I say, why is this thing not turning black again? You know that? It just, it just How many of you like to be young? Doc, everybody. Amen. At times, you know, when I was young, I could do many things. Now I want to take my life. Oh, boy, you have to be careful. Oh, you know, ah! I, I want my youth to be renewed. If it is in the natural, what of the soul? Let it be renewed. Let it be renewed. They shall renew their strength again. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. But we have to wait. So what does it mean to wait on the Lord? To wait on the Lord is to persist with Christ until God shows up. Until eternal life come. If you wait patiently, patient, he's waiting. The secret is patience. If not, the promise of eternal life will not come. That promise will not be activated. Are you blessed today? Please, can we begin to thank God, every one of you? Just thank him. Just thank him. Just thank him. Praise him.